Ladies and gentlemen, please give your solemn attention to the following video presentation honoring our nation's gold star families. I'm Jim McCollum. I'm the father of Marine Lance Corporal Riley James McCollum, and I'm here to speak for him. My name is Alicia Lopez. I'm Herman Lopez, and we're the parents of our son, Hunter Lopez, the U.S. Marine stationed in uh, Camp Pendleton, San Diego, California, who passed away on August 26, 2021, in Kabul, Afghanistan. My name is Abby Sanchez, and I am the voice for my brother, Corporal Humberto Sanchez. My name is Coro Briseno, and I am Corporal Humberto Sanchez's mother. My name is Steven Nakui. I'm here for my son, Kareem Nakui. I'm here today to give my son a voice. My name is Cheryl Jules. I am Sergeant Nicole G's aunt. She was a U.S. Marine that was killed in the Kabul, Afghanistan withdrawal. My name is Christy Shamblin, and I'm here for Sergeant Nicole G, United States Marine, who was killed in the Afghanistan exit. My name is Kelly Barnett. I'm here to give a voice to my son, my, uh, my best friend, Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover. And my name's Darren Hoover, and I'm here to give voice as well for our son, Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover. When we started hearing that the Taliban was moving in, that there wasn't more military being deployed, and that they had decided that the Taliban was our security, that was when I became terrified. They were just kind of left there, hung out to dry. For you from Afghanistan where there are significant casualties, including some Americans from a... How does it work? And heard about it. Instantly. Had that just chill go through me. And I, I started sending messages. I'm talking to people. I'm calling his girlfriend. I'm saying, well, have you heard from him? I'm calling his sisters. Have you heard from him? You know, we're texting. We're, we're, we're saying, please, just send us a text. Just whatever. Just let us know that you're okay. When I, all the explosions went off, I messaged her and I said, hey, you know, I know you can't say anything, but, you know, just an emoji. Just a bubble. <laughs> and then 3.30 in the morning that night, um, I got the knock on the door. You know, there's no other reason two Marines are standing on your door. Right away, they told you. We have news about your son. And he just passed away. I just start screaming. I throw myself on the floor. I pull up the street and I see a white van. And once I saw them, I knew. It's surreal. Seeing all those flag draped coffins in the back of a C-17 is something you'll never forget. And it really drives home that, you know, these young men and women gave the ultimate sacrifice. They had all the families within this large room. The president showed up and, and um, that was... It wasn't what I was expecting. You know, this guy's sitting across from me on that tarmac, and he keeps looking at his watch. Biden did not want to be there. I don't know what he wanted to do, but he did not want to be there. He looked at his watch multiple times. I saw it three times. He didn't say anything about Riley. And to this day, he has yet to say those 13 kids' names. And that makes me so upset because... Those kids were serving their country. Those kids, they were giving their life for this country. And I always said they were thinking that their commander-in-chief was going to have their back because they were fighting for this country, and that didn't happen. The administration, the White House, our president has never once mentioned their names, not one of them. Honestly, I, 
I don't feel like Joe Biden cared. He just had no empathy for us at all. I do think incompetence played a huge factor in what happened. Um, bad decision, bad leadership, and it all starts at the top. Joe Biden should not be leading this country. There was no point in making that hard deadline August 31st. It was 100% a political stunt. He let my son down. He let the 13 down. He let the 45 wounded down. He let those 174 civilians down. He let our country down. And then what it hurts the most is that they could be here. We fully understand we can't bring back our kids. But there are thousands and thousands more out there that are going to come home the same way if something doesn't change. We're the United States of America. We can do better by our men and women that are risking their lives for this country. We can do better for them than that. To this day, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have never mentioned these fallen soldiers' names. President Trump will never forget them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Gold Star families of our fallen heroes. <laughs> 